funds could be coming soon to Enfield Public Schools. Just hours ago, town council voted for a small budget increase, much less than what the Board of Ed requested. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Olivia Schuler joins us now live from Town Hall. Olivia, how many jobs are on the line at this point? Right now, about 121 jobs are on the line, and those teachers may not have a job come next fall. Now, this is putting a ton of stress not only on teachers, but also for parents and students. So with less teachers, that means that there's going to be bigger class sizes and cuts to programs. The reason for the layoffs, COVID money has dried up. The mayor of Enfields has previously said they will not dip into the rainy day fund to supplement the school's budget for next year. Here's what was voted on last night. It was a 7-4 to four vote. Town Council voted voted for a 2% budget increase. That means the school district gets a $1.5 million increase instead of the $6.5 million budget increase that was requested by the Board of Education. That $6.5 million would have just maintained current staff levels for the next year. Again, that puts over 100 jobs on the line. Teachers are now worried for not only their jobs, but for the kids they teach. It's bad for Enfield, it's horrible for kids. Uh, I'm sad for the future of Enfield. This is a generational uh, decision that they made tonight, and uh, we'll just have to deal with the repercussions best we can, but it's unfathomable what they just did. I would like to give the Board of Education more money, but throwing money at a problem doesn't fix it. We all know it. Now, the last time that Enfield Public Schools had mass layoffs was back in 2010. That's when they had about 27. Now, teachers will be notified if they are let go for the upcoming school year by the last day of school, which is June 12th. In Enfield, Olivia Schuler, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.